Now you cannot debug an executable since by default it does not contain debugging code. What you can do is you can place some controls on the front panel of the executable for debugging purposes. Create the executable, deploy it on the target computer, run it and try to diagnose it. If that does not help, then there is another authentic way. Let's investigate it. For debugging an executable on a development system which is different from the development system, they both must be on the same network. To ensure that you can connect to the remote target PC, try using the ping command line tool to establish if connection is available between your development PC and the target PC. To enable debugging inside an executable, you need to enable its relevant option in the executable settings dialog box. To launch the executable settings dialog box, double click the executable present beneath the build specifications. You will find the debug option in the advanced section. Turn this enable debugging on and another relevant option becomes available which is wait for debugger on launch. What this does is that if you double click the VI ex executable it will wait for connection from the debugger to launch. Then you have to rebuild your executable. Now let's start the debugging executable process. Let's launch the executable first. After the executable starts running, after the VA launches, proceed to lab view, go to operate menu, Choose Debug Application or Shared Library option. Under Machine Name or IP Address, type the IP address of the remote machine. In my case, since the exe is running on the same PC, I will use localhost as the address. You will find the executable name under, underneath the Application or Shared Library section. Press Connect. Then choose Remote Debugging, Show Block Diagram and the block diagram of the executable will become available. Now you can use all the tools that LabVIEW provides for debugging purpose.
if you cannot connect to the remote machine the problem could be that your windows firewall is blocking your access to the remote machine to solve the problem you will have to open and add a port 3508 which is the port which NI service locator uses for connecting to the remote machine so that you can debug the executable. 